Hi folks, I'm Robert, k 3 rr and thanks for stopping by. This video is all about the SDR play so that you can listen to the ham radio satellites and it explains to you how to automatically adjust the frequency for Doppler compensation. If you have any kind of SDR or any kind of rig that allows you to listen to two meters, I encourage you to try to listen to the 18 currently active satellites that are already up. The two more most recent satellites, AO91 and AO92, are very strong, easy to listen to, and some folks are even able to work them with an HT and a whip antenna. I bought the SDR Play RSP2 about six months ago, and I'm very impressed by this gizmo. I've used one of the RTL dongles for years, and those were impressive enough. But this SDR Play is in a whole separate universe. It's really impressive, especially when you combine it with the SDR Uno software. Great gizmo, used on HF all the time, and also for VHF, UHF, primarily for listening to the amateur radio satellite. And I do a lot of work with satellites, and I wanted to wait to listen to the satellites with my SDR Play, but I needed to have the frequency adjusted to compensate for the continuous Doppler effect of the satellite going 17,000 miles an hour as it circles the Earth. I was told that it could be done, but could not find any way that gave a step-by-step -step recipe to accomplish it. I'm a big believer in not reinventing the wheel, plagiarize where possible, whatever is the fastest, easiest way to get something done, and there wasn't a way that I could find. It took me several hours of playing with a multitude of settings to end up with the magic elixir to get this thing to work. Now, I've tested it with my RSP2 version of the SDR Play. I believe it should work the same way with all the models. Uh, but if you find out this is not the case, please comment below. Even though one of the major software components I'm going to discuss is PST Rotator, you do not need to even have a rotator or even a satellite antenna to benefit from this information. As a matter of fact, you can do a lot of listening with a mobile antenna, a JPO, or a Slim Jim. I've used all three. Granted, they are not going to do as well as a computer-controlled rotating system of high-gain dual-band Yaggies, but often you can hear several of the FM birds in particular with almost full quieting with just a 15 inch whip on an HT. With the newest birds, AO91 and AO92, you can even make contacts with that same 15 inch whip. For what we're getting ready to talk about, you do need an SDR Play SDR for these explicit instructions to help you. They may be of some benefit and you may be able to take the information here and also apply it to something like SDR Sharp to get it also to work with Doppler compensation, but I haven't tried it, but keep that in mind. Here's a list of ingredients for the Doppler control elixir for your SDR play, assuming you're running Windows 10 like I am. First, SDR Uno. It's a free program. It takes full advantage of the SDR play. Now, I know there's a ton of SDR software packages available, and many of them are great. I happen to like SDR Sharp. They all have a learning curve, I understand that, and I'll warn you right now, SDR Uno probably has a bigger learning curve than most because it does so much, particularly to take advantage of several features on the SDR Play, like three different antenna inputs. But nevertheless, the software is free, and it just made sense for me to go through the learning curve one more time for one more SDR software package, since it was directly tied to the hardware I had. At the time I recorded this video, the latest version of SDR Uno was 1.22, and that's what I'm using for this tutorial. The second piece of software that you need is a great piece of software, a PST Rotator. Uh, it's a fantastic program. It lets you control your rig via OmniRig, control your rotators if you're using them. It also does Doppler control along with satellite tracking. So that's a lot of features. The cost of the software is 20 euros. And last time I looked, that's about $21 or $22. This is one of the best ham radio purchases and one of the best supported software programs I've ever bought for business or pleasure. 
the key to this working for Doppler control of SDR Uno is that they both use OmniRig. The last program you're going to need is COM0COM. It's a free no modem program that lets you identify two virtual COM ports that will allow you to link PST Rotator and SDR Uno. Download the software and unzip it to whatever directory you want and run setup. Set up your COM0 COM pair and I'm going to show you how to do that. I choose to define these as COM15 and COM16 since these are not in use by my system. It can be any other combination too as long as it's not a conflict on your system. Note that the COM ports that you need to choose need to be COM20 and below. I have no idea why that limitation is there, but it is what it is. Once you set the program up for COM0 COM and you drop it in the startup menu, you won't have to worry about it again. That's all you need to be able to listen to both FM and linear birds and have the Doppler frequency changes done for you automatically. Now that you have the ingredients, here's the sequence for mixing the ingredients together and adjusting them to end up with the Doppler control final result. First, install the software. Each of the programs has its own learning curve that's outside the scope of this video. Get all three programs installed and working and usable before we start mixing the ingredients to combine them all here. If you follow the above instructions you've already set up COM0COM and don't have to worry about it again. Next run PST Rotator. First click the configure button on the left side of the satellite tracking module. This will bring up the Omni Rig settings box. Next choose one of the two rig tabs and fill out the entries as shown. Third and this is the magic elixir to make sure it works is to choose a Kenwood TS480 as a rig type. This is what was hard to discover and this is what you've got to use because this is what SDR Uno expects for the secret handshake. Next choose COM port 15 since it's half of your null modem and complete the rest of the tab entries as shown. You've now configured PST Rotator. Next step run SDR Uno. Click the RX control window settings button at the top left of the window. The new window that will open has several tabs. Click on the one labeled CAT, C-A-T. Now choose the other half of the null modem, COM16. Also add check marks beside RX mode control. This lets RST rotator set the mode for SDR Uno. Also put a check mark beside enable and connect. Next click the O-Rig tab right next to the CAT tab and click either Rig 1 or Rig 2 depending on what you've chosen, PST Rotator. And in the example shown here I chose Rig 1 in both cases. Also add a check mark beside Sync Rig Arrow VRX and Sync Center Freak. Lastly back in the RX control window click the R-Sync button at the top so it goes from white to orange. You've now configured SDR Uno. So we're set up. Let's go back to PST Rotator. Pick a satellite, any satellite, and then click the up plus down button middle of the satellite tracking module on PST Rotator. If you don't do this, Doppler adjustments are not made. So you've got to click this for the Doppler to be automatically correct. Once you've done that, you should see PST Rotator and SDR Uno successfully adjusting for Doppler for the satellite that you chose. That's it. See? So easy that a cave ham could do it. Actually, this was a pain in the ass to figure out. So I hope that you find this video helpful and it saves you all the aggravating waste of time that I went through to try to figure it out for myself. One additional note, by using a SDR along with a VHF UHF rig, you're able to now operate satellites full duplex. I'm not going to get into the weeds of how to do this here, but I did add a note in the write-up below that gives some basic information about how to go do that. Back on point and something else you might find interesting. I've also uploaded several other videos here to my YouTube channel. Various recorded satellite passes, various satellites, that demo how great PST Rotator and SDR you know, work together. So you might want to take a peek at a few of these because 
One, if you're active on satellites, you might actually hear your own melodious voice. And two, if you're new to satellites, these videos will show what it's like to work the birds, the quality of the communications, and they also show some of the good and bad operating practices if you plan on making the plunge into the wonderful world of amateur satellites. Hint, if you do, do not call CQ on the FM birds. I hope you find this helpful. 73 folks, thanks again for taking time to watch this video. And if you like what you saw and heard, please subscribe, like, and share. That will help me a lot. See you on the birds. I'm Robert, k 3 R Q R T. Uh, uh.